All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a little video. This is gonna be a kind of a short one on the Atomos Ninja 5 and the firmware update that just came out on March 20th for it, version 10.3. So we're just gonna cruise through it here real quick and show you um, what to do and how to do it and all that other good stuff. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you the Ninja itself because I'm using it and I don't have a cable to reach long enough. It's kind of, kind of a bummer. So if you need more detailed information, I'm gonna put some links in the description to Gerald Undone. He just put out two videos on the Atom Ninja 5 that are really great and can answer a bunch of questions on the updates and how to use them and how to use the Atom Ninja 5 in general, which uh, they were both really good. So definitely links in the description. You know, please check those out when you get a chance. So for right now, we're going to go over to the computer and show you what's up with this update. So uh, stand by and we'll move over. Thanks. All right, everybody, now that we're over here on the Atomos website, we can scroll down. We can select our product, you know, which is going to be the Atomos Ninja 5. You can see all the different ones here. But we already have it selected, so let's go ahead and select the Atomos Ninja 5. So we're on the Atomos Ninja 5, and of course, this is extremely blowing up, so you'll, you can see it easily. And here is the Ninja 5 firmware, 10.3. And I'm going to put a link in the description to all these URLs and all that stuff, so you don't have to hunt and search for them and all that other kind of good stuff. So you just want to download the firmware update here. So just click on it, it'll download. If you want to see the release notes, we can go through those too. All right, so now that we're over here on the Atomos 10.3 release notes, let's see what it does. So here is the first one is an important note about activating ProRes RAW. I hook up to a Canon camera, so I don't have any problem activating this. Um, if you go to the activation website, it'll walk you through it, give you a code, and then you you put that code in from your Atomos, and then you get a code, and you put it, that code in your Atomos, and then it um, enables the ProRes RAW codec. So worked fine on a Canon. Can't speak for the other manufacturers. So what's really cool now is you got frame guides for social media, you know, like Instagram and Facebook and all that other good, good stuff. So you can change your aspect ratios, which is very cool. Uh, one of the things I started using right away was the nine grid overlay, you know, do your rule of thirds. And that was actually pretty cool. I like having that nine grid overlay over my uh, Atomos now. Uh, make sure I'm not directly in the center. Rule of thirds, always a good thing to follow. Uh, the false color labeling, that's another good thing. You got like a, when you're in false color, it has a scale on the left hand side. So you know what the IRE values are for what color. Very cool. You have another on off like toggle switch for legal ease. Um, this one I will definitely link to a Gerald Undone video. He explains this in great detail. Um, basically, you want to use the legal legalize on. I don't know why I said legal ease. You want to use legalize on if you're using the log profile. And if you're not using the log profiles, you basically want to turn it off. That's just in a down and dirty in a nutshell type thing, but Definitely check out the Gerald Undone video. He explains it in a lot greater detail about the color spaces and what they mean. Rolling file naming, so that's another good one. And the anamorphic de-squeeze was a, one of the big ones I know people have been asking for for the mode. So if you have it on an anamorphic lens, it'll squeeze or de-squeeze it so it'll look normal instead of having that really thin squeezed image. And it does it for 1.25 and 1.8. So very cool. And a couple fixes for the Nikon RAW image and a little, some improvements to the SDI module. So that's it for the release notes. Let me uh, go ahead and show you what to do next once you download the file. So stand by. All right. So once you download the firmware file, at least for the Atomos Ninja 5, you get this Atom NG5 or V, however you want to call it, .fw for firmware. Please make sure this is the exact name that you use. So if you have an old version, you download this version, it'll put a dash two after it on a Mac. Please rename it so it is this exact file name or the firmware won't work. 
Once you download this file, just copy it onto your Atomos media into the root directory. Obviously make sure your Atom Atomos Ninja 5 is off. And then once you put that media directory back in and turn on your Atomos, it'll automatically go through the firmware update. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Just wanted to show you what file to use and wh where to put it and all that other good stuff. So let me go ahead and get out of this and uh, head back to the camera, thanks. All right, everybody, welcome back. You know, thank you for watching this quick little Atomos Ninja 5 firmware update to version 10.3 and the things it can do. Uh, once again, please go take a look at the description for some videos that will help and explain things in greater detail than this one will. You know, definitely be safe out there. Do social distancing. Definitely wash your hands. Use that hand sanitizer. You know, we can all get through this. Let's just be safe. So thank you again for watching and for listening. I hope you have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.